Lord. Bless each and everyone who is here. Forgive each and every soul who comes in this room tonight. God, we are in one accord tonight. Let your fire come to all of us, O Lord. Makarurama Marwe Lutino Tendai. Munuchen is your sage of one. Munuchen is a marimu papa. Isham or Chenet is a mabasa. Tao Yamarima de Panam of a me also a major of one. Isham or a pumster of the end at Chenet is a mari. Bangua to say that negative. Tinoptenda in Mari in Shokori no web pet Sira Jehovah. Tinoptenda in Jehovah and Prophet of Makasa Bagati Bell. Thank you, Jesus, for the brother, prophet, brother, Branham, oh Lord. Thank you, Lord, for the Jesus Christ, our Father. To no pretend I am wrong, so to think that no room be dying. You would be like that is the law, but I can never have power. It is the one. Thank you, Lord, for predestinating us before this world, oh man. To no room be dying, to walk on the chopper, the Chaganaka, the Magadi Sarurira, Rubapa Zai, Shokosha, Pagati Pedro. Makati Tauri Ramad, that's the Sunday Jehovah. We are free from everything, Jehovah. We know, Lord, we are free for everything. We are independent in Jesus Christ. Bless the song leader. Bless the preacher tonight, oh Lord. To not tend I am not to Makarulam. Be your sending a shaka to Zopa Mori. You put him out of the check at the Noemba and Mimis yourself. At Masha to later Shakanaka Maria. We pray in Jesus' name, Amen. I want to ask one of the elders to help us with the evening prayers and offering. Hallelujah. Let's just give the Lord a hand of praise. Hallelujah.
let's pray together. Father, we say thank you tonight for how much you loved us, oh God, that you even went to the cross for us. The blood was shed for the God, the price was paid in our place, oh God. You took on the robe of men that we can put on the robe of righteousness. You took for the God the robe of sin that we that were sinners, we can be called the righteous ones. Lord, we are so grateful for what you've done in Calvary. We know that Calvary is not a great big Jew, but it's a great big done. It's a finished work. When you hanged on the cruel cross of Calvary, you said it is finished, O oh God. And we know that by your stripes that we've done in Calvary, we are already healed, Father. We are so grateful, O oh God, that we don't only see the cross, we don't only see Calvary, but we see the purpose of the cross. And the purpose of the cross is that the book that was taken for the God that was sealed with seven seals there came a worthy one that came and took the book of the one that was seated on the throne we are here oh God not worshipping you from a closed book anymore but we are worshipping you from an open book that is why Lord we know who you are we know we know who we are oh God we pray in the name of Jesus Christ tonight in this midweek service we are committing it to your hands oh Father we say May you come and speak to our hearts. May you come and say something, Father, that when we leave this place, we may be like those brothers coming from your mouth, saying, did not our hearts bend within us as you spoke to us along the way. We can feel that you are amongst us tonight by the songs of Zion that we've already sung. We know, Father God, that you're moving, oh God. Bless brother gift, oh God, as he came ably to come, Father God, and create an atmosphere for the word of the living God. Bless brother God with the keyboard. Bless each and every one that is making this service a blessing behind the scenes. Pray may you bless the deacons of this church. Bless the trustees. Bless the ushers of God. Everybody in the post of duty. We want to say your special blessings upon them. Even those, Father God, that prayed for this service, the prayer warriors of God. Waking up every morning, kneeling down, and calling your name. So, Father God, that this service can be a blessing to us, oh God. We commit this pulpit into your hands, oh God, the ministration of the word thereof. We, Father God, put it into your hands. We commit all things believing in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. We greet all of you this tonight in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. How many are happy to be here tonight? Amen. Let's give the Lord a hand of praise. Amen. Yes, one prayer request uh, tomorrow afternoon we'll be traveling to George for the youth camp. Just remember me in prayer and, and trust that everything will go well. Let's bow our heads in a word of prayer as Brother Jethro Johnson to come and commit these requests as we'll be going there. And the Holy Spirit may be the one that is guiding the meetings, but everything will go well for the glory of God. Amen. Let's bow our heads and close our eyes. Amen. Lord God, once again, Lord God, we just approach your throne of grace and mercy, Lord God. Lord, it's a privilege, it's an honor, Lord God, to Lord, uh, just lay at your feet, oh Father God. Lord, your word says that we should kiss the sun, lest they be angry. Lord God, we perish in the way, Lord God, and we know, Lord God, we don't want that, Lord God, but we want to kiss your feet, oh Father God. We come, Lord God, just to bathe in your presence this evening. Lord God, knowing, Lord Father God, we need this word of Father God. Lord God, it's more than life to us, O God. Lord God, you said that man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. Lord, and we know that your word shall not return unto your void, O Father God. Lord God, this request made, Lord Father God, we know, Lord God, that there's such a need for the young people, O God. Lord God, to meet you face to face, to have their own experience, O Father God. Lord God, and we realize, Lord Father God, Lord, that your word is so much higher than anything, Lord God. Lord God, your prophet even came and he said it's, it's a million times higher than visions, Lord God. And we know, Lord God, that in that, Lord God, lies your power, Lord God, because it's you being made manifest to your people, Lord God. Lord, so may, Lord God, you just undertake, Lord God, for another blessing as he goes, Lord God. We know the flight is man-made, Lord Father God, Lord, we know the call is man-made, Lord God, that we traveling with God. whatever it may be Lord God you know the needs Lord Father God you know the needs of the people also Lord God we know Lord God that 
these things happen for a purpose, Lord Father God. Maybe there's one person, oh God, that's really praying, Lord God, that needs the baptism of the Holy Spirit. But we don't just only pray for that one, we pray for all of them, Lord Father God, Lord, that they may receive from you, Lord God, that they may have a true revelation of this word, Lord God. Lord, for we know that this word in this hour, Lord God, Lord, we cannot do without it, Lord God. We be as the Pentecostals or as the denominations, oh Father God, walking in darkness, Lord God. But here we are, walking in the light, oh Father God, as you are in the light, oh God. We appreciate you so much, Lord Father God. May you undertake, Lord God, for your word this evening. We love you. We pray all of this in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Let's take a song as Brother Jeffro comes to share the word of God with us. Amen. Taura, ye share. Taura, Taura, ye share. Taura, let's raise our hands. Ye share. Taura, ye Opportunity, amen, to represent and to stand in a gap, amen. Um, without a waste of time, um, I would like us to um, open up the book of Revelation 5 1.
have one. Amen. She found it in prison. Like this. And I saw in the right hand of him that sat on the throne a book written within and on the backside, sealed with seven seals. And I saw a strong angel proclaiming with a loud voice, who is worthy to open the book and to lose the seals thereof. And no man in heaven, nor on earth, neither under the earth, was able to open the book, neither to look thereon. And I wept much because no man was found worthy to open and to read the book. Amen. That is John. Neither to look therein. And one of the elders said unto me, Wim not, behold, the lion of the tribe of Judah, Amen. the root of David, have prevailed to open the book and to lose the seven seals thereof. Amen. 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 Then we jump to Revelation 10, 7. But in the days of the voice of the seventh angel, Amen. when he shall begin to sound, the mystery of God shall be finished as he had declared to his servants, the prophet. Amen. Amen. Let's take a word of prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you once again for your word of revelation. We know that your word, O oh God of revelation, O oh God, that is why the songwriter says you are an Alpha and Omega. Amen. You are the beginning and the end. You knew before you knew now, and you knew the end to come. Because Father God, we are just people on display. Father God, we are just people being used by you, O oh God. We are just people, O oh God. Father God, purpose for a purpose to fulfill your word, O oh God. Heavenly Father, it is what, as it was in the beginning, so shall it be. Let it be in this evening time that your word will be revealed to your children. Dear God, use me, O oh God. I have bring my faculties unto thee, O oh God. Let me be like a horse by, O oh God. Whatever I say, O oh God, may it bless the saints, O oh God. May the saint receive, O oh God. May the word fall on the fatal ground. May it produce, O oh God, O oh Father God. Fruit speak for repentance, Heavenly Father. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, after reading your word, I wish I could just close, dear God. Because your word, oh God, that's what we hear from, oh God. To hear from you, oh God. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Can the saints are saying, Amen. 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 You may be seated. Amen. The title of my message, Amen. The third pool effect. Amen. The third pool effect. Amen. And I want to declare this evening, amen, that the third pool effect has started now. Amen. amen. The third pool effect, it is not something, amen, that we think about. It is something that's already been done. Amen. amen. Hallelujah. Amen. But what we love about this is that it is our time. Amen. 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 We read that the book of Revelations 5. Amen. Where John was whipping. Amen. And the Bible says while he was sitting there whipping. Why was he John whipping? John was whipping because he knew without the book open, amen, there is no redemption, amen. He knew without the book, amen, there won't be any saints, amen. There won't be a pride, amen. Without the book, he could not see his name, amen. amen. Without the book, we were lost, amen. We know that the book, oh man, Adam lost it in the garden of Eden, amen. By the sin that took, amen. But God with his mighty took the book before the devil could take it. And why John would whip? Because of his soul. Above the heavens there was no man, amen, worthy to take the book. He saw on earth there was no man, amen, worthy to open the book, amen, and do the seals thereof, amen. He whipped, he whipped, he whipped, because without that book, Amen. Me and you are lost. Amen. Amen. They could not be a bride. But I'm standing here knowing that, oh my God, there shall be a bride. Because it's a spoken word. Amen. Because we know that God, G-O-D, 
it's, it's, it stands for a worshiping object, amen. amen. G-O-D is a worshiping object, amen. amen. God, before he was God, he was Zoe, amen. God, the self-existent one. God wanted to make himself a people to worship him, amen. Without the people to worship him, he cannot be God. You can make your house a God. You can make your car a God. You can even make your mother a God. You can make your phone a God. Amen. But we're standing here this evening, amen. Knowing that we don't want to make material things of God. Because we know that we're not a worship of creation. But we worship the creator. Amen. amen. Somebody say amen. amen. The time is now to realize that there's no other place but in him. We worship him. Amen. amen. Hallelujah. Amen. John. John saw it fit to look everywhere. We know that the prophet... Could have visions, amen. amen. Visions to go back in time. Visions to see where you stay. What's your name? What's your mother? Visions so much to the Garden of Eden, amen. amen. When John was sitting there, I could imagine him as a prophet, amen. When he saw that there is no man, because if he could go to Abraham, Abraham, are you worthy? Abraham will say, I can't. I'm not worthy, I'm a liar, amen. He cannot go to any man because there was no man worthy, amen. amen. That is why he worked, amen. amen. If it was me and you in the same position that John was in, you would whip. Because without your name in the book, you are lost. Yes. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Without your name in the book, you are lost. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 The prophet says um, in the message, it is, uh, faith is a substance. Now, we do, now how do you get faith? Faith cometh by hearing. Amen. Hearing what? The word of God. Amen. 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 Now that's right. You can't base it on nothing else but the word of God. It's got to have. You just can't have faith. Just say, oh well, if you go over there, Teach, touch that or make that you will now. Touch the radio, no. Touch this, that in it. I just can't go that. No, no say. I got to have something that's strong. Amen. Amen. We know that is a substance of things hoped for. Amen. Amen. Basically, the strongest thing I know of, that's the prophet saying, All right. the word of God. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. The book of Acts chapter 12. You may read. Amen. Amen. Just want to open my notes here. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Before we go there, amen. I think the slides are a bit ahead of me, amen. amen. We know that time is a commodity. We know the most valuable thing that a man holds is time. Amen. And time tells the day you are born. Time tells the day you die. Amen. Time tells the day you are reborn. Amen. Time tells the day you are raptured. Amen. 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 Time tells you're going and you're coming out. Amen. Without time, we don't know what time to wake up. Amen. Without time, we don't know what time to sleep. Amen. Without time, there cannot be an order. Amen. 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 We know time is a commodity. Amen. And we know that time wasted can never regain. Amen. 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 It has been said that whoever you spend your most time with, you will associate with and you become that person. Amen. Be careful, young person, who you spend your time with. Amen. Be careful, young person, where you place your time at. Right. Amen. Amen. Right. Amen. Amen. There is time for blowing. There is time for harvesting. Amen. There is time to go to work. There is time to go home. Amen. Time is the most commodity a man has. Amen. 
in a message the book go tell I know one thing as long as I hold on to the first, first ministry the second won't come as the prophet says as long as I hold on to the first ministry the second won't come I don't it, it won't come now as long as I hold on to the second one the third won't come see I've got to step right out step out and believe it God said so we know that there's three pools amen the prophet saying here if he had stayed with his first pool the second would not come if he had stayed with the second the third will not come amen but we know that on the first on the first pool it was healing taking the people's hands telling them that the heart's desire and the secrets amen the second pool the, the pro pro Sign, rebuking sin, amen. The third pool, discernment, speaking. The third pool was the opening of the book. Amen. The opening of the book, amen, speaks of you and me. Amen. The opening of the book is where it comes, where he says, Little fish, I give you life. The third pool, he does not need to hold you. Amen. On the third pool, he does not need to come to your house. Amen. On the third pool, he does not need. To come and touch you. We don't need a prayer line with a third pool. Right. We are the people of a third pool. Amen. Amen. Why? We speak things to existence. Right. You say there was a time of the prophet. No sir. Alright. It is your faith that will fail you. Amen. And it's the same faith that will give you healing. Amen. Amen. How many times when the prophet Jesus will come. And a man will come or a woman will come to him. And once said. God did not afraid. He doesn't say, I have healed you. Yes. He says, your faith has healed you. Yes. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. That's right. Hallelujah. All right. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. <clears throat> Revelations 5, 1, 7. And I saw in the right hand of him that sat on the throne a book written within on and at the backside sealed. Amen? Amen. We read that scripture. Amen. Amen. So the opening of the, of the book reveals all the seals. Amen. Amen. We know that with the third pool, with the opening of the book, he, was, he could sit there and say, Stop! Go back to where you come from. He could say, Pool, let me pass and I have a mission. I'm on the Lord's business. I have to pray on the other side and that pool will obey. On the third pool, he could speak to the bees, amen, that are about to attack him and say, bees, please, I'm a man of God. All right. In your situation, you are a child of a third pool generation. There is no better time than now to practice it, amen. amen. All right. Hallelujah. Amen. That's right. Hallelujah. Amen. So how do you get better on your third pool effect? You know that practice makes perfect. And many a times we do things over and over and over again to get perfected in it. If it's school, it's R-A-E-O till said amen. When a child is young, he will go through that education of learning what is all, what is A, what is B, what is Z. Amen. Amen. Why? That person, that child has to come to a point where he will be able to speak a sentence. Yes. Me and you, when we are young, we do not know we will come to a point where we can speak a sentence. Amen. But now that we are grown, it's something we don't think of. Yeah. That's how faith is like. Amen. You don't think of it, you just amen. speak it, amen. amen. And it comes to pass, amen. 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 As we still remember, we're still in a month of Abib, amen. amen. Abib, as the pastor said, it starts in the beginning of March, amen. amen. And it ends in the middle of March, and it ends in the, uh, at the end of April, amen. amen. So in the month of Abib, we are still able to gather. And to take back what belongs to us. Amen. 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 If the devil took anything for, from you this evening, this day of Easter, Amen. this is the time to say, Satan, bring back. Amen. 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 Why? Easter is to bring back. Amen. Amen. To restore. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah.
Hallelujah. Amen. Faith cometh by hearing. Amen. Amen. Hearing what? The word of the Lord. Amen. Amen. Well, on, um, the prophet preached a sermon 1954. Amen. Amen. This little old sickness pulling it around like this. Little old saying, well, the days of miracle is past. Amen. Amen. But let faith step up one time. Pull up his muscles. Amen. And say, I will take over. I tell you, the rest of them all keep still. And faith does it. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. I did not know that faith has muscles. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Like a prophet, like hunting. Amen. Can I take this off, please? Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Like a prophet loved hunting. Amen. Amen. That was his own habit. Amen. Amen. That was what he loved doing. Amen. Amen. I believe we also have things that we love. Amen. Amen. Some love playing instruments. Amen. Amen. Some love traveling. Amen. Amen. But there's something that I'm also passionate about. Amen. Amen. I love weightlifting. Amen. Amen. And I'd like to just tell you a story about how faith, amen, on how you do certain things, amen, amen. could put you in a place where you won't believe, amen. amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And in weightlifting, or let's say losing of weight, amen, amen. many of us have goals that we want to reach. Yes, Some of us just gain a little bit of weight. Some of us is to lose a little bit of weight. Amen. Amen. Depending on what you want to do, your faith will heal you. Amen. Amen. Your faith will give you the strength. Amen. Amen. That morning, every, every morning, um, I wake up at 4. Amen. I prepare myself after my morning prayer. 5 o'clock, I'm at the gym. I said to myself, this is what I want to do. Amen. Amen. I do that. Day, every day, Monday to Saturday, amen. amen. Why? Because I have a goal that I want to reach, amen. amen. And now knowing that on the physical side, when we do that, amen. there's a result of it. Amen. You might say, I'm weighing 95. But on your 95 that you're weighing, you want to see yourself at 60 or 70 by the end of the term. Your speaking won't help you. Yeah. Right. 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 You might say, I want to lose weight. But continue with your McDonald's, you will see the end results. Yeah. Continue with your Nando's, you will see your end results. Yeah. Your consistency in what you do will prove your results. Yeah. Many times when you pray, the Bible says, pray without ceasing. You pray whether you like it or not. You pray whether you feel like it or not. The time of it is never a time. It's now. So while you're in there looking at us, amen, others on their phones, others running away from their wives, others running away from their husbands, you see them at the gym. They spend the whole year coming to gym consistently so. Come the end of the year, the person you see have been, what have you been doing this whole year? Says, I've been working out, man. I've been pushing the weight. I've been eating the word. But the end results of what you're doing is not shown. Why? Go home, check what they do. You will find them sitting on Netflix, for sure. Series after series. A believer eating Netflix like it's a piece of McDonald's. Hallelujah. Amen. It will show you results. Amen. So when you go to the gym, you spend your time on the phone, but yet you keep on gaining weight. What's happening? You're feeling on the wrong thing. But you're at the right place. So this evening you might be at the right place, but feeling on the wrong thing. The result will show. Think on the right things. Amen. When you feed on the word, the word, you become the word. Amen. You will 
find yourself in a meeting when something is said, you go, Amen! Because you're feeling on the right thing. Amen. Many times, when you're pushing that way, amen, there comes the times you're failing. You'll stack as much as you want. There comes a time your body will fail you. There comes a time you feel like going home. There comes a time when you feel like this is too much. But at that time, that's when you need to push and say, one more. We have a saying that says, no, no pain, no gain. When we come into the word, when we come into the message, there is no flowery batteries. That's the time to fight. That's when the devil wants to see you head on. But when you come in, have your fists ready, amen. When we put you in that water, you, we don't expect it a wet setup. Oh my, my, my. But we're expecting you to cut up yourself around and say, I am ready to fight Amen. this fight of failing. Amen. You will come, feel like failing, all your body is failing. Even when you're praying and you hear your prayer going to the roof and coming down. At that moment, cut yeah. yourself and remember the word that's been said by the prophet. And say, oh God, you said in your word. Oh my God, if only I could believe all things are possible. Amen. Amen. It is not even up to you. The pastor always says, if you don't believe it, I'll believe it on your behalf. If even I say, if you don't believe it, I believe it on your behalf. That house you want is already yours. That family you want is already yours. That husband you're looking for, you have already received him. Why? You speaking things before they happen. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 And while you pray, you praise him. Amen. Amen. Why? Prayer confuses the enemy. Yes. I'm not talking about a kind of prayer where you just go on crying and crying and crying to the Lord. Sometimes it comes a time when you start praising the Lord and say, Lord, though it hurts, I will believe you. Though it's struggling, I will believe you. I praise you in the morning. Yes. And I praise you in the evening. Why? Why? Praise confuses the enemy. Why? The Bible didn't say it by mistake. Amen. What it says, when they want to hit you on the right, give the left. When the devil attacks you, amen, and thinks you are KO. At that moment, stand up and say, Satan, dumb devil, you have no share, no right to touch me. You're a child of a king. Amen. And that moment and say to yourself, if Brother Ronnie can do it, I can do it. If Brother Blessed can do it, I can do it. If Jesus Christ can do it, and the mountain trying to be be the guy by the devil, I can do it. You will have your own mountain where the devil tries to pick you at and say, do you see all these things? If you can just worship me. But at that moment, know who you are. That's right. You're a child of a king, amen. There is nothing too hard for the Lord, amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm just going to jump a few things. Amen. Amen. David did something that the Lord could not do for himself. Amen. David is a young man growing. Amen. Taking care of his sheep. Amen. The youngest in his family. Not knowing that he will grow up one day. Amen is the word that's spoken. He's now the man after my own heart. All right. Amen. Can you imagine yourself as David this evening? Amen. Now you're young, some of you. But you don't know what God has purpose for you in your life. Amen. Amen. 
David did something that God could not do for himself. Though his wife could look at him and David, you embarrass me. But David thought it fit that he knew why is it important to praise the Lord. Amen. And it's to worship God. Amen. In season and out of season. Yes. Says so that something that God cannot do for himself yes. is to make himself God. Amen. As I already said, God is an worshiping object. Amen. Amen. So if you make him God, right. you have already won the victory. Amen. Amen. The power lies between your Lord John, and your upper jaw, like our pastor always says. Amen. amen. This is a time to possess. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Your attitude will say it all. Amen. amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Just speak the word and go forth. Yes, amen. amen. Right. There is ne never a better time. Amen. amen. To trust in the Lord, but now. Amen. amen. In the book of Acts, chapter Acts, chapter 12, amen. amen. Peter was in prison. Let me just read it. Chapter 12, just want to start it here. The same night Peter was sleeping with two soldiers, bound with two chains. And the keepers before the door kept the prisons. And behold, the anger of the Lord came upon him. And the light shined in prison. The light shined in prison. Amen. I love that. So the light will shine in your darkest places. Yes. 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 All right. The light will shine where you think there is no light. Amen. Amen. In the darkest place. Amen. Amen. And he smote Peter on the side. Amen. That's the angel. And said, arise, and, and arise them up and say, Arise up quickly. And the chains fell off from his hands. Amen. Chains fall off from his hands. Amen. He did not say, In the name of Jesus Christ, let the chains fall. <laughs> At that moment, the angel says, Arise. Amen. And the chains fall off from his hands. I'm saying to you this evening, whatever chains are holding you, just rise up. Chains will fall off. In the darkness that you're in, chains will fall off. Amen. There is nothing too hard for the Lord. And the angel said unto him, Cut up thyself and bid on thy sandals. And so he did. And he said unto him, Because thou comest about thee, and follow me. And when he went, followed him, and was not that he is true, which was done, but the angel, but, but thought he saw a vision. So he even thought he's seeing a vision by what was transpiring in that prison. Imagine yourself walking in prison, out of prison, without you being being escorted actually by an angel. I don't know if you have been to our prisons here at home. I'm telling you, it's not a good place for any believer to be in. Amen. Amen. Speaking to your family through Amen. those gates, you are stripped off of all your rights. Amen. The only thing that you deserve is to rot in there. They give you a name and a badge. Mm. It's the most darkest place, my brother, my sister. Amen. Amen. But in that darkness, light can shine. Amen. Amen. So be like Peter this evening. Amen. amen. Know in the darkest places. Amen. amen. God will make a way for you. Amen. amen. There is no struggle. Yep. Amen. That's too hard for the Lord. Amen. amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Matthew 11, 12. Right. From the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven suffered violence. Amen. And the violence taken by force. Amen. For all the prophets and the law prophesied it. 
Amen. And if you will receive it, this is alias which was for to come. He had he that had an ear to hear, let him hear. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So in everything that is in life, there is nothing that you just take for granted. Some of the things, not if not all of them, especially in a believer's life, will be hard. Amen. But I want to tell you this evening, there's nothing too hard because it's in the mindset. Whatever you want, just say it and go forth. Many a times we doubt ourselves because of we think we are not able. But the word has already enabled you. Amen. The word is giving me the right of go forth. I loved it when the pastor said this Sunday that when the metro police stand there, no matter how much you drive, the speed you're driving in, the minute he raises his hand to stop you, yeah. with the authority that is placed within him, Amen. you will have to stop. Yeah. Why is it like that? What about a believer? No matter how much the devil puts on demons upon you, because you're always on your knees. Let me tell you, the way the, way the demons fear you, when you start to begin to kneel down, they shiver. Because they know something is about to happen. When the weakest us prays, no hell can stand. No emergency. Sister Gugu, amen, the saint of the Lord, when she begins to pray, all hell will break me. All right. That's right. But why? Because a daughter and the son of a king stood up and cuddled themselves up and said, I am able, amen. amen. When we read the book of John, amen, St. John 5, he that heareth my word and believeth on him that sent me, had everlasting and shall never come to judgment, but had passed, passed from death unto life. Passed, it's already done. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Amen. It's revealed that way by God unto the heart, and Jesus is the Son. Hallelujah. And we read where the prophet says that. The lamp and the dove. Amen. Preach 1953. Listen close. Amen. 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 The lamp and the dove. Now listen close. Reading of the word. For this word won't fail. Amen. My will. He's one. He's warned. Yes, so if you get no more than just reading yes, sir. of the word, amen. 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 How many reads the word? Amen. How many reads the word? Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Just, just start reading. Yes, sir. Make it a habit yeah. of reading the chapter every night yes, before you go to bed. And a chapter every morning, just as you get up. Amen. Amen. Yes, just take the time, the prophet says. Amen. So the word, for you to become that word, for you to have that word, the third pool effect upon your life, the prophet says you must read it before you sleep. Amen. Amen. You must read it in the morning. Not Netflix in the morning and Netflix in, at night. Yes, Amen. Amen. Not cross over with that, but with the word. Amen. Amen. Because why? We want to become the word. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I love this one. The shepherd feeds the sheep. On what? Alfalfa. The food. You know what sheep food is? The word of God. That's right. Men shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. Amen. Thank God we have a pastor that feeds us the right food. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. The right kind of food to make, to give us muscles. Amen. Amen. The right kind of food to believe that all things are possible. Amen. 
You know we are privileged. When I hear the pastor say, and, and my, I, I want to say this, many of us actually, actually hear this. Where believers outside our church get blessed by YouTube sermons. Amen. It is high time we get our own blessings. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. We not YouTube. Yes. YouTube sheep. Amen. But your Wednesday night, we are here. Yeah. Sunday morning, yeah. we are here. Amen. Come Friday that you want to open, we are here. Amen. He said, he said, on some 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 of these days we must open Friday. But your open the Friday night. Yeah. Yeah. We want to feed on sheep That's fruit. Right. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Faith is a substance. Yes, sir. And faith is a substance. Preach 1947. Amen. I'm watching my time. And we drove about eight miles, the prophet says. An old road way up unto the rural district. And they lay a young girl. Something about eight, seven years. Or 18 years old and she was laying there in trouble in a terrible condition when I walked up to the room she was real nervous and she said oh and you are brother Brennan I said do you believe sister she said oh yes I believe and I said, I don't care what the church says, that's she saying. She belongs to the same church that Georgia Carter did. He said, I don't care what my church says. I believe. I believe. And so they, the man Amen. and the father came, Amen. met me, shook my hand, and he took me around the bed and said, Sir, She's going to be operated All right. this morning. All right. She walked, she's afraid. She can't make the trip. Amen. Amen. We got to take her all the way to Albany, Indiana. That was about nearly 40 miles to the hospital. Amen. Amen. She won't make it, she will die. But the child couldn't. The appendix. Would have would have busted. Amen. Amen. She she had 30 miles or more to drive. Amen. Amen. Now, friends, the girl was looking to me. That's the prophet saying. She said, Brother Brenham, you think I will love? And I said, I believe you will. Amen. But she said, Now do you believe? She said, Oh yes, I believe, sir. I don't care what the church says. Amen. I believe. Amen. Amen. Some of the neighbors gathered in the room. Amen. Amen. Now look here. I want to get to you people now on this. The girl, the, the girl thought she believed. Yeah. Just like many of us yeah. Yeah. of us come down this line tonight. I think you believe but did not believe. Yeah. Now many of you believe now many of you have female trouble. Amen? Amen. Maybe it's just something another. Maybe ulcer or stomach. Amen. 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 You have to take you have you have you can have a little time. Amen. Amen. But that girl, you with your stomach trouble can have a little time. You with your ulcer can have a little time. But this girl had no time. Yeah. Had an, had an emergency. Her life was at stake. That's right. Had That's to right. be done now. That's right. Amen. Amen. So the prophet says to her, So, sister, I do not mean to hurt your feelings, but you do not believe. Right. So this girl said, Oh, I believe, I believe, Brother Brenham. She thought she believed. Yeah. Now look here. 
But faith is the substance of things hoped for. The evidence of things not seen. See what I mean? My sister ordinary cares. I, I could have a little time so much. But I want to get to this now. So this young girl, amen. amen. The story goes on, but I want to come to a point now. Hallelujah. Amen. I want to show you, if you have faith, I want to ask you and show you. He said to her, do you see that necklace sitting there? Hanging around the chair. Yeah. The young girl says, Yes, I do see that necklace hanging around the chair. Yeah. The prophet says, Do you believe that you can move it with your eyes without touching it? Yeah. Yeah. No. He says, That's impossible. Yeah. It cannot be done. Yeah. The prophet says, Then she says to the prophet, Can you yes, move sir. it? Yes, sir. The prophet says, Amen. Yes, I can. Amen. 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 The prophet himself says, I can. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Amen. I want to read it for you. It got me excited. I couldn't see. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Amen. And I said, now, if you believe with all your heart and prove to me now that you, are, you got faith, look right directly through the bracelet hanging there Beautiful. and Amen. make it bracelet swing around yeah. and around the room. Amen. Then you make it swing back and forth yeah. the room and stop it. Amen. And I'll believe you have faith. Amen. She said, oh brother Brennan, my why ask me something like that? Yeah. How many of us are like that? Yeah. We have said here many a times yeah. and the word will come forth through our pastor and say, that house you've been looking on, it's already yours. The job you've been looking on, it's already yours. He says, it's about to be, look at your time, it's 12 o'clock, right now. This time, tomorrow, something is about to happen. Amen. How many of you actually go home believing that before 1 o'clock something will happen? Amen. How many of us fail to even go home believing something will happen? Amen. The failure it's in us, yeah. not in the pulpit. Yeah. 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 If you go home believing that this tomorrow at one o'clock, something is about to happen. Yeah. Yeah. If you tell your child right now that tomorrow when you get out of school, you're going to find me by that thing that you've been looking for, you're going to find it at home. I tell you that child, the minute you tell yeah. her that evening, that night she won't sleep. Yeah. That morning when you pray, she's the one waking you up. Daddy, yeah. yeah. mommy, yeah. don't forget. Yeah. When she's yeah. in school, she's busy telling her friend, my mom is going to get me a kid. Yeah. I've been waiting for it. Yeah. Comes 12 o'clock, lunchtime, oh, I'm ready to go home. Why? My mother is about to get me a kid. If you don't make the children of a believer, when a word has been preached to you, and you've been looking at the time, and they say, this time, tomorrow, something is about to happen. You won't get what you expect. Amen. If you expect it, you will see it. Hallelujah. I just want you to get to my hand now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Why must we such? says the young girl. Then the prophet said, uh, the girl said, Sam, I don't believe that anyone could do it. I thought you said to believe all things yeah. are possible. Wonderful. See how she was caught right there. She said she believes, but because of her, she can't move that. The person's move it. She couldn't. She was caught. Amen? Amen. No. And she said, I don't believe anyone can do it. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Then we go down. Then she said, well, could I see it done? Yeah. Yeah. Now, yeah. Now, now, when I read this, yeah. now we're not talking about sickness. 
Now we're not talking about raising up the table. We're not talking about a condition that one will be going through on a prayer line. Now it's a young girl having a request from a prophet saying, Can I see that person move? Amen. What is it to her? All right. Can I see it being done? And I said, If you desire. Yeah. 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 My God, my God, let our desire be more of you, O oh God. If you desire, then of course, putting my mind on it, having had her to watch that on me, now then of course, fastening my eyes on it. Amen. That's the problem. Fastening my eyes on it. Where are we? On the bracelet, which can yourself. If you want, if you hold down in your heart and start moving around, then it moves back and forth around the crossway, and I stopped it. Said Brother Brennan, she said, that's spiritualism. I want to answer. If a man who's blind now comes through those doors, sits down here, and we ask you, go pray for him. Amen. And the word said in the prophet, all things are possible to them that believe. Amen. Amen. The minute you start doubting, because yeah. you have never seen it done, yeah. it does not mean it cannot be done. Amen. I'm waiting for that time where the sick person will be healed here. I'm waiting for that time where a blind person will see right here in this church. I'm waiting for that person at that time where a person will come in. Yeah. All right. I'm walking yeah. on the wheelchair. Yeah. And Brother, Brother Sipo will give me a seat right chair. Yeah. But I want to see that person one of these days walking and throwing that wheelchair far off. Yeah. That time is coming, church. Yeah. Where your faith will heal you. Yeah. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Yeah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Let's worship the Lord. Let's pray together in our own way. Father, we say thank you, O oh God, for the ministration of your word. Thank you, God, that we are not in the time of the first pool or the second pool, but we are in the end time, the time of the opening of the word. The book has been opened, our names have been called. We know who we are, O oh God. We can speak the word and think. Can begin to happen. We are in the time when the pool can take its effect. Lord God Almighty, this is not a time of spiritualism, as the young girl said, in the faith is the substance. But Lord God Almighty, as the prophet said, I put my mind into it and I looked at that bracelet and it started swimming over and over again. Lord God Almighty, we are so thankful in the manner that is spoken to our hearts. There's brother Jethro, oh God, that able to finish with the word of God tonight. May you give him revelation upon revelation. Take him to higher heights, O oh God, as he gets into his life, O oh God. May you open your word more unto him, O oh Father. We commit him into your hands, you commit his family. Whatever that he does, O oh God, let his prosper in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Bless your people at this time, the ones that came here, Father God. Looking, O oh God, that the third pool must take effect in their life. Whatever they desire, O oh God, I believe. Right now, right here in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we can grant them to them, oh Father. We are so grateful, oh Lord, to be with this ministry. We are so thankful. Be with us, oh God, in this time as we look to you today, as we worship you. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we thank you. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Something keeps holding me. Yeah.
Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
sing the last time and say through many dangers toils through many dangers toils of the church, to the deacons of the church, Lord Jesus, may the effects of the third pool take effect in our life. Father, we pray that the power of the Holy Spirit may never leave our children, Lord Jesus, their families, Lord, Father God, brothers and sisters of like precious faith. Father, Lord Jesus, may you bless Brother Jethro and his family, Lord, Father God. Oh God, won't you open the word to him? Won't you give him revelation, Lord Jesus, to be able to dissect the word, Lord Jesus. Father, as we leave, Lord Father God, we believe that the effects of the third pool will be following us. Lord, as we go into work, Lord Jesus, the effects of the third pool will be following us to our workplaces, to our schools, to our houses, Lord Father God. Whatever we touch, Lord Jesus, may the effects of the third pool, Lord Jesus, be part of us, Lord Jesus. Father, Lord God, we are sick and tired of just hearing the word. Father, we want the manifestation of the word in the house, Lord Jesus. Father God, whether it be material, whether it be spiritual, Lord Jesus. Father, we want to see the manifestation, Lord Jesus. Give us the manifestation, Lord Jesus. Father God, we don't want to see, Lord God, children who are failing at school, Lord Father God, that may be pass, pass all the way. Oh God, Lord Jesus, we want to be, Lord Father God, successful in our businesses, Lord Jesus. Oh God, help us when we speak, to speak life, Lord Father God, to our neighbors, to our relatives, to our families, Lord Jesus. May we be a testimony, Lord Jesus, wherever we call, Lord Jesus. Oh, God, be the head pool, be tangible in our life, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, amen. Father God, give us prophetic message, Lord Jesus. Oh, God, we don't have...
have to ask, we believe that the hopeful is among us in the name of Jesus. Blessed be the name of the Lord. God bless you, brother Ephraim. May God bless you and open the word of God to you more and more as we study. Amen. How many appreciated the word tonight? Amen. 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 Bless you, let's bow our heads as we, we are going towards our respective places. Thank you for all coming and keep on coming to these Wednesday services. And then God bless you. Come again on Sunday. We are in for a wonderful time. Amen. And as we play that song, Amazing Grace, softly, let us dismiss from the front. And then the treasurers, I mean, the ushers will dismiss us from the front. Amen. God bless you. Uh, this is the key that has been dropped in the offering basket and the state. Please make sure that you, you get it from the ashes after church. Praise the Lord. Amen. God bless you.